So the first one is, how old were you when you lost your virginity? Let's just get straight into the hardcore stuff. <laughs> Sophie asked me, what is your guilty pleasure with a little wink on the end? <laughs> And welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd change it up and stand up like I used to in my old videos And that's because today's video is gonna be a juicy question and answer video So I asked you on my snapchat to send me some juicy questions a lot of the same questions came up So anything that's kind of repeated. I'm just gonna go in a little bit more depth with the answer for that one Let's just get straight into it. If you don't know me or you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you want me to do more of these juicy Q&As in the future. This is my first ever one, so the next time you might be able to put a juicy question in as well. Something that you've always wanted to ask, but like it's a bit, should I really be asking her that? That's what I want, that kind of question. So the first one is, how old were you when you lost your virginity? Let's just get straight into the hardcore stuff. <laughs> Um, so I'm gonna be honest with you, I was 14 when I lost my virginity, um, about to turn 15, not that that makes it any better, um, I would definitely not recommend that to any of you, I'd, I'd wait until you're 16, um, but I don't regret it, I don't regret the person who I did it with, or anything like that, so that's one thing that I was bothered about, whether I was gonna regret it, and whether it was kind of like with the wrong person, I wasn't ready for it, I got pressured into it, it was none of that, I made a decision myself, I wanted to do that, and I wanted to do it with that person, so I was too young, and I would not recommend you doing that, but on the other side, I knew that was the right thing, and I wanted to do that, so. Um, the next one is a little bit more tame, when was your first kiss? So my first kiss, well it's probably been like in primary school, like when you pay like catchy kisses and Sorry, I keep fiddling with my hair. Um, when you play like catch kisses and all that kind of um, daft little games that you used to play in primary school, that would probably be my first kiss. If you're wondering, by the way, where my phone case is from, it's from Coconut Lane. I actually have a 20% off code. Um, I'll leave it on the screen now, but I'll also link it down below in case you want to buy it. I bought this myself. They didn't send me it just in case. You're wondering. It's not sponsored or anything. Um, Sophie asked me, what is your guilty pleasure with a little wink on the end? Um, I mean, I don't really know if it's a guilty pleasure. Like, a guilty pleasure is something that you're meant to be, like, embarrassed about. It's probably something, like, I still like to watch Scooby-Doo. I still like to watch all the kids' stuff. Um, I love going to the cinema with Blake to watch, like, Avengers and stuff like that. Like, I'm such a big kid. I'm just like my dad. My dad is exactly the same. My dad's never grew up. Um, so when it comes to like Christmas and his birthdays, he always gets like Super Mario figures, Batman figures, Star Wars figures, anything at all to do with um, that kind of stuff, my dad absolutely loves and I think like that's kind of something that I've got in me as well. So I've actually got a little Lion King up here. Lion King was like my favourite film ever when I was little. So yeah, absolutely love Lion King. So that's just kind of like hanging on top of my like dressing table mirror. So yeah, uh, I think probably my guilty pleasure is the fact that I like, still like to watch cartoons. I don't really know if that's a good one or not, but, you know. So Molly has asked me, would you ever get plastic surgery? <sighs> I think in certain circumstances, I would. So if um, I started getting older and was like, I'm sorry, there's a fly in the room, so if you hear that buzzing, that's because it's just came back in. I've just chased it out. Um, but if I wasn't happy with my body part and I was, it was really impacting me, it was impacting my mental health and it was making me absolutely hate the way I looked in the mirror, it made me not want to leave the house and not want to go out with my friends and all that kind of stuff and it was impacting my quality of life, then I would get plastic surgery without a doubt because if you want to do something, it's your body, you can change your body however you want to change your body, so it is entirely up to you as a person, so if I needed it and I felt like I needed it and it was really impacting me, then I would get it because it's my body and that's the end of that. <laughs> so somebody else has asked me the virginity question and tell us the story. I'm not going to tell you the story because I have younger people watching this video, like this channel, and my siblings watch this channel as well, as well as like my mum. Even though my mum knows the story anyway, because me and my mum are dead close, but like there's too many family members and friends that watch this video, like watch my video, so um, I don't think it's appropriate for me to be telling the story, but you know. <laughs> um, Sophie also, Sophie had some really good ones. Sophie also asked, have you ever fancied a friend's boyfriend or someone they like? I probably fancied somebody that they like. I never fancied a friend's boyfriend because obviously they're off limits and you won't even look at them in that kind of way. Um, but I probably have fancied, probably both fancy the same person, like let's be serious. Um, that's just what it was like, like at school we used to be like, 
so my top five people that I fancy are so and so and so and so. There's always going to overlap at some point. And then the last two were, once again, asking about my first kiss and asking about my virginity. It seems like that was kind of the big juicy thing that everyone wanted to know about. If there's any other juicy questions that you want me to answer, please leave them on this video and then I can look back in the future and answer these in my next juicy Q&A. If you enjoyed this one, please give it a thumbs up. I upload on Wednesdays and Sundays. Now I've completely skipped my Friday uploads so I can upload more frequently instead of like missing one here and there and it just not wasn't consistent at all. So I'm now back to doing Wednesdays and Sundays uploads like I used to do like ages and ages ago. So please come join our little family. Please come join me on Snapchat. That's where I will ask for the next juicy q and I normally ask in our Facebook group as well, which is Loose as Ladies. It's a little community for us all who just love, love makeup. So please come join us and I hope we see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah, I hope we see you then. Bye guys. <laughs>